So I'm Shaheen Pirvai and this is my business, it's Miel Bakery. Um, it's a bakery that I opened about three years ago in, in London in Fitzroby on Warren Street and the idea was for me to bring that little taste of Paris when I, you know, when you live in Paris you sort of walk around, you see there's three boulangeries near your home and you, there's always a warm baguette to find and bring home. So for me the idea was to bring that warmth and comfort and the joy of a you know, a Parisian bakery into London and, and that's how Miel came about three years ago. And uh, we do bakes, we do viennoiserie, we do a bit of patisserie as well. It's better than ever before, you know, you see the ratio of sort of men to women in the industry has it, it's become so much better than it was even, you know, five, ten years ago. Uh, even when I went, you know, um, to like kitchens or I did my stages back in like eight or ten years ago, I would probably be one girl in the kitchen and there would be another girl in, in the pastry section, but it was very, very heavily male dominated. But now it's, you know, it's nice to see so many people and even, you know, if meal is anything to go by, like 80% of our staff is women. So I think it's a nice place and time for women. Hospitality needs people, not just, uh, you know, whether it's men or women, it needs people. And um, this this is an industry where you need, you need to have passion to be in this industry. So if an individual has sort of strength, that they have tenacity and a really, you know, a willingness to learn and, and excel, then it's irrespective of you being a man or a woman, you know, this industry needs you. When you go as diners onto kitchens and things, you you know you'll see more women you know behind the pass or or you know running kitchens. It's not just a role to, for them to be in the front of house or just to you know serve customers, but it's also behind. Here we have girls who are picking up 25 kilo bags of flour just as well as you know as the guys do. So there's definitely been you know uh, excellent progress in in that that aspect. Supporting gender equality can happen from the public by way of supporting businesses that are women-led. Or the other thing can be from an employer standpoint wherein employers can be more empathetic towards their employees, be better listeners towards them. They should create safe working environments. Another thing that employers can do is for helping people come back to work um, after maternity leave. You know, a lot of people have to reconsider their career options after having babies. But if employers are sensitive to that, you know, then and there's always so many different roles. You don't have to come back as the same role that you were. So there's always ways that that can be planned and it's just um, at the end of the day for an employer to be sensitive towards this. It's a brave thing to do to be a woman in hospitality because people will undermine you. People will, uh, there will be chauvinists who will be like, mm, you know, I'm not sure, shall we show you the space or not show you the space? Like I had so many people, you know, do you have a previous business? They wanted that record. So you will have people undermining you, but you know, your job is to keep going, have faith in yourself, be confident, be strong and let your work speak for itself and be proud of your work.